Gold Pokemon cards, are they what they used to be? Let's take a look at the prices from the Sword and Shield era and the Scarlet and Violet era, and then try to figure out what is going on with these cards on the market. Welcome back to the channel, this is VMAT. If you do enjoy my content, please consider subscribing and joining in all the fun we have here. And today, we're gonna to be talking about the gold Pokemon cards. Now, gold Pokemon cards are considered secret rares. There are some of the most valuable cards historically in Pokemon in the last like 10 years. However, the Sword and Shield era and Scarlet and Violet era, gold cards are not faring quite as well as their ancestors from the past, so to speak. So we did a few videos like this before. I think we discussed rainbow cards. Um, we also discussed alternate art cards and what's be been basically going on with those on the market. And now we're going to be talking about gold cards. So why don't we start off today's list with Lugia V-Star Secret Rare from the Silver Tempest set. Now currently it's uh, market price is $14.43. It has uh, went down quite substantially. Three months ago, sitting at $16.05, and its peak was actually at the end of September for about $18.20. Next up here is the Energy Switch from Silver Tempest. This one's actually been on the rise, currently sitting at $6.39. Three months ago, sitting at $2.44, so it's almost gained $4 in value. Not too bad. Nest Ball here from Scarlet and Violet Base Set. Uh, this is another secret rare, 255 out of 198. Currently sitting at $12.95. There's been a lot of movement on the market, but honestly, it hasn't really lost much value at all. Three months ago, sitting at $13.93. Next up here is the rare candy from the Scarlet and Violet base set. Currently sitting at $10.45, and it's about $11.55. Three months ago, it hasn't really lost much value either, actually. Super Rod, it's actually went up a little bit. Not a lot in value. Uh, it is sitting at $16.85 right now. Three months ago, sitting at $14.20, so just a little over $2 in value in the last three months. Superior Energy Retrieval here from Pal Day Evolved. This one has really shot up on the market. Honestly, it's kind of surprising. Uh, when I was looking at these earlier, I thought a lot of the gold cards would be going down. There is quite a few that are going down, but uh, the majority of them are actually showing a lot of strength. $11.08 on the market right now. Three months ago, it was sitting at $6.21. Next up is Chin Pao EX. This one actually has been going down, but it is a very competitive card in the Pokemon trading card game. So, you know, who knows? It could actually see a rebound uh, quite soon. It looks like it's rebounding a little bit right now. Currently sitting at $10.21 for its market price. Three months ago, is $11.36. Next up is the Charizard EX from Obsidian Flames. A very valuable card, one of the best cards in the set, although uh, obviously the secret illustration rare is you know, seen as a, a lot better for collectors. Right now sitting at $25.64, uh, and about three months ago it was $29.92. So honestly, it's only really lost like $3.50, so not much in value. Zacian V, another sword and shield base set card here, sitting at $14.49 for its market price. Three months ago it was sitting at $16.61, so it's basically lost about $2 in value. Zamazenta V, another card from Sword and Steel base set. It's currently sitting at $8.52, so it has lost a lot of value. Uh, three months ago, it's sitting at $12.14, so it's lost about $3.75 in value. Next up here is Quick Ball from the Sword and Shield base set as well, currently sitting at $10.53 for its market price. And three months ago, it's sitting at $12.07, so it has lost about $1.50 in value. Next up here is another Sword and Shield base set card, Ordinary Rod. This one has also lost some value, $3.89 currently for its market price. Next up is Frost Moth from the Rebel Clash set. It is currently sitting at $9.06. Three months ago, it was sitting at $9.68, so it hasn't really lost much value at all. And then we have Galarian Persecur. This one from Rebel Clash is actually sitting at $8.08 .08 for its market price. Three months ago, sitting at $10.24. Scoop Up Net. Currently $4.81, so it has lost some value. It was sitting at about $5.51, so it's basically lost just under a dollar in value. Colossal, this one from Darkness of Blades has also lost value, currently sitting at $4.48 for its market price, and three months ago sitting at $5.04, so it's basically lost just a little over 50 cents in value. Next up here's Rillaboon from Darkness of Blaze, currently sitting at $4.00. Currently sitting at $4.26 and three months ago sitting at $5.09. So it really hasn't lost much value, maybe just a little over 80 cents. Next up here from the Champion's Path, it's Suspicious Food. This one has actually went up in value, currently sitting at $1.67 for its market price. And three months ago, it's sitting at $1.32. Next up here is Galarian Obstagoon. And this one from Vivid Voltage is actually sitting at $5.25 for its market price. And uh, three months ago, sitting at $4.90. So it's really only lost like 35 cents in value, not much at all. 
Aranguru from Vivid Voltage. This card is currently sitting at $4.07 for its market price and three months ago sitting at $4.15. So again, not much uh, loss at all in its value. Uh, it actually looks much more dramatic than it actually is. Next up is Level Ball from Battle Styles, currently sitting at $15.57 for its market price. Three months ago, it was sitting at $18.38, so it's actually lost around $3 in value. Houndoom here from Battle Styles as well, currently sitting at $12.02 for its market price. Three months ago, it was sitting at $13.49, so it's lost about $1.50 in value. We have a Chilling Rain Secret Rare here, one that's very expensive, Snorlax, currently sitting at $67.28 for its market price. It has lost a little bit of value, Three months ago, sitting at $70.83, so it's lost a little over $3 in value. Next up here is Electrode, another card from Chilling Rain. This one is sitting at $8.79 for its market price. Three months ago, sitting at $9.26, meaning this card has actually lost maybe about $0.70 cents in value. Next up here is Fog Crystal from Chilling Rain. This card is currently sitting at $12.71 for its market price. And three months ago, it was sitting at $16.49, so it's lost around $4 in value. Next up here is Cresselia from Evolving Sky, sitting at $6.62 for its market price, and three months ago sitting at $7.81, so it's lost a little over $1 in value. We have Lightning Energy here from Evolving Skies, currently sitting at $8.22 for its market price, and three months ago it was sitting at $10.80, so it's lost a little over $2 in value. Next up is Fire Energy, and this is another gold card from Fusion Strike. This card is currently sitting at $6.07 for its market price. Three months ago, sitting at $8.60, so it's lost a little over $2 in value. Next up here is Flaffy from Fusion Strike. It's actually really shot up in the past few weeks. Currently, it's sitting at $5.91, and three months ago, sitting at $4.75, so it's actually went up by a little over a dollar. Ultra Ball here from Brilliant Stars, another one that's been going up in price lately, sitting at $24.51 for its market price three months ago, sitting at $21.65, so it's actually went up by a little over $3. Next up here is Galarian Moltres from Brilliant Stars, currently sitting at $10.28 for its market price, and then three months ago, sitting at $9.67, so it's actually went up by almost a dollar. Next up here is Magma Basin from Brilliant Stars. This one has also been going up. It's currently sitting at $9.58 and then three months ago, it was sitting at $6.45. So it's actually went up by over $3 in value. Kind of shocking to see some of these actually go up like this one as well. Very interesting graph for this one. It is Path to the Peak from Astral Radiance, currently sitting at $22.11 for its market price three months ago, sitting at $21.36, so it's went up by almost a dollar, but its highest point in the past three months was around September 12th to 14th for about $23.53. Next up here is Double Turbo Energy from Astral Radiance, currently sitting at $17.44 for its market price, and then three months ago, sitting at $20.08, so it's lost almost $3 in value. Dark Patch here from Lost Origin, currently sitting at $12.00, and 74 cents for its market price in three months ago sitting at four dollars and 46 cents so it's actually gained like eight dollars in value quite a substantial gain in the past three months for dark patch here next up is garatina v star this card is sitting at ten dollars 51 cents for its market price and then three months ago it was sitting at 17 dollars and 28 cents so it's actually lost around seven dollars in value Next up is Lost Vacuum from Lost Origin, currently sitting at $8.46 for its market price. The three months ago, it was sitting at $6.75, so it's actually went up by almost $2. And our last card here is Collapse Stadium from Lost Origin. This one hasn't really moved much in price, so the graph looks way more dramatic than it actually is. Currently sitting at $7.80 for its market price, and three months ago, it was sitting at $7.98, so it's really only lost $0.18 cents in value. So I find it fascinating to look at these cards and kind of understanding what's going on in the marketplace. Uh, you know, it is one of those cards. These are the type of cards that people really like to collect. They are secret rares. They're very hard to pull. Uh, in some cases, they're even more difficult to pull than your secret illustration rares, you know, but to see them this low in price, if you are a collector and you're someone who really does enjoy these gold cards, I think it's a really good time to go in and buy a few copies. Uh, we're in a pretty bare market right now in general for collectibles and TCGs. So uh, I think this is a great opportunity for anyone who does like these cards. Personally, I like the secret illustration rares more. Uh, I might even, to be honest, like the rainbow rares more than this, but you know what? It's not for me, but it might be for you. Let me know in the comment section below if you really like gold cards. And with that being said, I will see you guys in the next video.